This is Bishop George Murray. On behalf of your Catholic friends and neighbors in the Diocese of Youngstown, I invite you to join us for this celebration of the Holy Mass. Good morning and welcome to our celebration of Holy Mass. Today is the seventh Sunday in Ordinary Time. Our celebrant this morning is Father Jim Corda, president of CTNY, the Catholic Television Network of Youngstown. I am Ron Kuhala from Holy Family Parish. As we pray this Mass, let us remember in our prayers, Michael Senchak. All creatures of our God and King, lift up your voice and with us sing. Alleluia, Alleluia. O burning sun with golden beam and silver moon with softer gleam, Oh, praise him, oh, praise him. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. It's nice to be with you today as we gather to celebrate God's love and presence. So together now let us acknowledge our sins and prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. <clears throat> you were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us join the angels in their hymn of praise. Glory to God in the highest, and, and on, on earth, earth peace, peace to people, people of good will. We, we praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, almighty God, that always pondering spiritual things, we may carry out in both word and deed that which is pleasing to you. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Levit Leviticus. The Lord said to Moses, speak to the whole Israelite community and tell them, be holy for I, the Lord, your God, and ho am holy. You shall not bear hatred for your brother or sister in your heart. Though you may have to reprove your fellow citizen, do not incur sin because of him. Take no revenge and cherish no grudge against any of your people. You shall love your neighbor as yourself. I am the Lord, the word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. The Lord is kind and merciful. The, the Lord, Lord is, is kind and, and merciful. merciful. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all my being. Bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits. The Lord, the Lord is, is kind, kind and, and merciful. merciful. He pardons all your iniquities, heals all your ills. He redeems your life from destruction, crowns you with kindness and compassion. The Lord, the Lord is, is kind, kind and, and merciful. merciful. Merciful and gracious is the Lord, slow to anger and abounding in kindness. Not according to our sins does he deal with us, nor does he requite us according to our crimes. The Lord, the Lord is, is kind, kind and, and merciful. merciful. 
As far as the east is from the west, so far has he put our transgressions from us. As a father has compassion on his children, so the Lord has compassion on those who fear him. The, the Lord, Lord is, is kind, kind and, and merciful. merciful. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, do you not know that you are the temple of God and that the Spirit of God dwells in you? If anyone destroys God's temple, God will destroy that person. For the temple of God, which you are, is holy. Let no one deceive himself. If anyone among you considers himself wise in this age, let him become a fool so as to become wise. For the wisdom of this world is foolishness in the eyes of God, for it is written, God catches the wise in their own ruses. And again, the Lord knows the thoughts of the wise, that they are vain. So let no one boast about human beings, for everything belongs to you, Paul or Apollos, Paul or Apollos, or Cephas, or the world, or life, or death, or the present, or the future, all belong to you, and you to Christ, and Christ to God. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. Alleluia, 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 alleluia. Alleluia. Whoever keeps the word of Christ, the love of God is truly perfected in him. Alleluia. 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 The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, You have heard that it was said, an eye for an eye, a tooth for a tooth. But I say to you, offer no resistance to one who is evil. When someone strikes you on the right cheek, turn the other one as well. If anyone wants to go to law with you over your tunic, hand over your cloak as well. Should anyone press you into service for one mile, go for two miles. Give to the one who asks of you, and do not turn your back on one who wants to borrow. You have heard that it was said, you shall love your neighbor and hate your enemy. But I say to you, love your enemies, and pray for those who persecute you, that you may be children of your heavenly Father. For he makes his sun rise on the bad and the good, and causes rain to fall on the just and the unjust. For if you love those who love you, what recompense will you have? Do not tax collectors do the same? And if you greet your brothers only, what is unusual about that? Do not the pagans do the same? So be perfect, just as your heavenly Father is perfect. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My friends, I'd like to begin by asking you to picture in your mind a familiar household scene. It's the end of a busy day, the family has just finished the evening meal, and the mother asks one of her teenage daughters, Mary, would you please wash the dishes and clean up the kitchen? Well, Mary responds by saying, why me? I, I did it last time. Besides that, I have homework to do. What about Joey? He never has to help. Then Joey yells back, that's not true, Mary, and you know it. Last week I did the, did the dishes three times and you only did them once. More heated words are exchanged and pretty soon World War III erupts. 
And the father steps into the scene and says, Mary, you heard your mother, start doing the dishes and clean this kitchen. So Mary, in silence, drags herself to the sink, does a halfway decent job on the dishes, and the rest of the evening she's very, very unhappy. And her unhappiness eventually overruns onto the rest of the family. Now, let's replay that scene with a slightly different twist, but go back to the place where the mother asked Mary to do the dishes. And this time, Mary says, yes, Mom, and she quickly goes to work. She not only washes the dishes, but she scrubs the pots and pans. She cleans a stove. And when she's finished with her chores, she's happy and content, and her happiness overflows onto the rest of the family. Now, I tell that little story not to single out young people today, but because the story is really a parable about life. It's the very thing that Jesus was talking about in the gospel when he said, should anyone press you into service for one mile, go with them two miles. With that simple statement, Jesus is reminding you and me that life is pretty much divided into two different camps, the compulsory and the voluntary. There are some things that we have to do, whether we want to do them or not. And there are other things we can do, but only if we choose to do them. You see, Mary in the story is really a picture of every one of us. We all get kitchen duty at one time or another. Life makes certain demands upon us, and we have the option to meet them or not to meet them. We can do our duty grudgingly, doing only what we have to, or we can do our duty gladly and go beyond that. And the difference between the two is profound. If we spend our days within the narrow limits of that first mile, then life will always be a drab and dull duty. But if we have the courage and the good sense to walk that second mile, then life can be transformed into a high and holy privilege. Let's take our work, for example. We can face our work in one of two ways. First, we can go to our jobs like slaves driven to a dungeon and do only the bare minimum, keeping our eye on the clock anticipating every minute the end of the day. Then we drag ourselves home feeling tired and irritated and unhappy and dreading the hour when the whole process starts all over the next morning. Or we can think of our work not as a punishment, but as a privilege. Whatever our work is, no matter how menial we think it is, we can do it to the best of our ability. We can do more than what is required. We can be kind and helpful to our co-workers. We can look at all honest work as doing God's business. Now let's apply that same principle to our homes. We can function only in a compulsory fashion, doing only what we have to do, not being overly aware of one another's needs and living only by the law of the first mile. Or we can live by the principle of the second mile. It is the unnecessary courtesy, the unexpected gifts, the thoughtfulness that makes for healthy and happy relationships. It's the listening ear, the understanding heart, the fair discipline, the gentle encouragement, the honest apology and forgiveness that binds family and friends together and allows them to live in the principle of the second mile. Jesus said, should anyone press you into service for one mile, Go with them two miles. Where are we living our life? In the first or the second? In the skimpy minimum of the compulsory or in the abundant flow of the voluntary?
Together now, let us profess the faith that we all share. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Humbly now let us present to God our special petitions. For the church, that we may heed Jesus' call to love our enemies, always willing to forgive and seek reconciliation, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That all nations may find the courage to avoid revenge and retaliation and respond to conflict with mercy and peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who serve our communities by responding to emergencies and disasters and for their families and loved ones, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That we may see the face of God in those who are hungry, homeless, or impoverished and respond as Jesus would, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who find themselves unable to overcome hatred and anger, that with God's grace they may find a way to forgiveness and peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. God in heaven, we praise and thank you for your countless blessings and gifts as we seek to follow you faithfully and do more than what is commanded of us. One day, welcome us to the fullness of your eternal truth in heaven. We make this prayer in the spirit through Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become for us our spiritual drink. Blessed, Blessed be, God be God forever. forever. And let us pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, our almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. As we celebrate your mysteries, O Lord, with the observance that is your due, we humbly ask you that what we offer to the honor of your majesty may profit us for salvation through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ your Son. For out of compassion for the waywardness that is ours, he humbled himself and was born of the Virgin. By the passion of the cross, he freed us from unending death. And by rising from the dead, he gave us life eternal. 
and so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is a chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and George, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, Saint Paul, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen, amen, amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. 
Amen. And may the peace of Christ be with you always. And with your spirit. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not worthy that, that you should enter under my roof, roof but only, only say, say the word, word and my soul, soul shall be healed. Be healed. Christ. Let us pray. <clears throat> Grant, we pray, almighty God, that we may experience the effects of the salvation which is pledged to us by these mysteries, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow your head and pray for God's blessing. May almighty God bless you in his kindness and pour out saving wisdom upon you. Amen. May he nourish you always with the teachings of the faith and make you persevere in holy deeds. Amen. Amen. May he turn your steps toward himself and show you the path of charity and peace. Amen. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Joyful, joyful, we adore you, God of glory, Lord of love. Hearts unfold like flowers before you, opening to the sun above. Melt the clouds of sin and sadness, drive the dark of drought away. Giver of immortal gladness, fill us with the light of day. All your works with joy surround you, earth and heaven reflect your rays. Stars and angels sing around you, center of unbroken praise, field and forest.